Today we'll take a look at the best gaming phones in the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these gaming phones, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which phone are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Asus ROG Phone 3 – Best Hardware The Asus ROG Phone 3 may not be as powerful as the PS5 or Xbox Series X, but it's a heck of a lot more practical. Think about it. The first thing I noticed about the ROG Phone 3 is that it's enormous. The phone itself is 6.7 inches long, which will surely try even the deepest pockets. It's also quite heavy at 8.5 ounces. First off, the fan can be a real pain to connect and disconnect between the hard-to-remove rubber plug, extendable clamp, and very tight kickstand. The Asus ROG 3 features a 6.6-inch 2340x1080 AMOLED screen, which supports frame rates up to 144Hz. With three powerful rear cameras and one high-res front camera, the Asus ROG Phone 3 doesn't skimp on picture quality. A gaming phone lives or dies by its performance, and the Asus ROG Phone 3 has a lot to offer in this category. One thing that consistently impressed me about the Asus ROG 3 was its battery life. It can last up to 14 hours, which is amazing. In spite of a few shortcomings, the ROG Phone 3 accomplishes almost exactly what it sets out to do. It runs demanding Android games beautifully and gives users a set of intuitive, flawlessly integrated tools to optimize their experiences. Number 4. Nubia Red Magic 5G – Best for the Money the Red Magic 5G is a top-tier gaming phone with the world's first 144Hz refresh rate display. Only a handful of games can make the most of that tech, but the list will expand over the next year, making this phone fully future-proof. The Red Magic 5G is a chunky phone. It has a big, bright 6.65-inch AMOLED display and a deep body to accommodate all the internals, and it is a bit heavy. The Red Magic 5G's most unique feature is its 144Hz refresh rate display, the first ever in a smartphone. There's good news on the battery front, as the Red Magic 5G's hefty 4500 mAh battery delivers impressive results. The main camera is the 64-megapixel Sony IMX686, the same one found in the mid-range Poco X2, and it's paired with a 2-megapixel macro sensor and an 8-megapixel ultra-wide sensor, which boasts a 120-degree field of view. As you'd expect with its powerful hardware, the Red Magic 5G can handle any game you throw at it with the highest possible settings. We spent most of our time playing PUBG, Real Racing 3 and Fortnite with the graphics turned all the way up, and we never met any slowdown or juddering. There's no denying that the Red Magic 5G represents good value. You pay a mid-range price for a high-end processing power and the world's first 144Hz smartphone screen to boot. Number 3. Red Magic 6 – Best for Most People if you're into mobile gaming, 2021 is an excellent year because in the past couple of weeks alone, three gaming phones have been released. The Asus ROG Phone 5 made a splash with its everything-in-a-kitchen-sink approach to features and specs, and now there's the Nubia Red Magic 6 and its first-of-a-kind 165Hz refresh rate screen. With so many options, what sets the Red Magic apart is its incredible value, a large battery, top-of-the-line Android performance, and a heaping amount of customizable game settings that only add to its appeal. As with all gaming phones, the Nubia Red Magic 6 is a bit of a chunky chap. It measures 169.9 by 77.2 by 9.7 mm and weighs 220 grams, so it's going to be a stretch for you to use it one-handed. The Nubia Red Magic 6 is a large 6.8-inch display, so there's plenty of screen real estate to see your game. The front camera is housed in the top bezel, so the screen isn't broken up by any intrusive lens placement. There are three rear cameras, a 64-megapixel f1.8 main, an 8-megapixel f2.0 ultra-wide, and a 2-megapixel f2.4 macro camera. The Nubia Red Magic 6 has basically the best internals available to it. That's the Snapdragon 888 chipset and 12GB of RAM. Together, they make quite the team. There's also 5G, of course. The Nubia Red Magic 6 is pretty affordable as gaming phones go, and it doesn't have any huge flaws to put you off it. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra – The Most Versatile The starting point for the Note 20 Ultra is the big display. The 6.9-inch Dynamic AMOLED with a variable 120Hz refresh rate really ups the ante when you're trying to play games. 
The screen gets a touch response rate of 240 hertz, which makes it really good when you're busy swiping up and down with your thumb. Wow, slow down there, your thumb's bruised. The gaming on the 20 Ultra feels decent enough to mention this. The big brilliant piece of display, the clear stereo speakers, the 240Hz touch response and the overall boxy or curvy build quality actually tried to shift the paradigm in the performance game. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a lot of positives. The display is excellent, the battery life is good, the cameras are slightly better than last year's Note 10 Plus and the design feels great, although the matte glass feels slightly slippery and the bronze gold shade gives off a super premium look, unlike what the Note 10 Plus gave off, or so we thought. If you're looking for a premium phone with decent software, decent looks, decent battery, decent daily performance, and something which is not an iPhone, get the Note 20 Ultra. Number 1. Asus ROG Phone 5 – Best All Round The Asus ROG Phone 5 undoubtedly offers one of the best mobile gaming experiences around, complete with built-in triggers, a gorgeous 144Hz AMOLED display with impressive touch response times, impressive audio chops and incredible power under the hood in the form of the Snapdragon 888 and up to 16GB of RAM. There are plenty of accessories available, from the Switch-like Kunai 5 controllers to the AeroActive Cooler 5 to keep your phone cool during extended gameplay sessions. The software is top-notch too, offering granular per-game performance tweaks alongside system-wide performance modes. The ROG Phone 5 can last up to an impressive 16 hours, which is amazing. Asus has taken that to the next level with the ROG Phone 5, offering a 65-watt hypercharge experience out of the box. That translates to an incredibly fast charging experience, going from 0 to 73% in 30 minutes in our tests. Let's be honest, cameras are never really the focus when it comes to gaming phones, but that doesn't mean Asus has skimped in the camera department in the ROG Phone 5. On the rear, you'll find a triple camera setup comprised of a main 64-megapixel Sony IM686 sensor, offering pixel binning tech to produce 12-megapixel images with enhanced detail alongside a 13-megapixel 125-degree ultra-wide lens and a 5-megapixel macro lens, and it can take some really nice-looking pictures. All in all, I can say that the ROG 5 is definitely the best gaming phone in 2021. Buying Guide Resolution Resolution is an easy one. The higher it is, the better. Sometimes, instead of dimensions of a screen, manufacturers use terms like Quad High Definition or QHD or Ultra High Definition. Those terms, while being descriptive at their core, are mostly just marketing lingo. What display type your phone or tablet uses can have a big effect on color reproduction and battery consumption. RAM Random access memory or RAM specs are a lot easier to deal with than CPUs. RAM is basically how much data your device can have active and ready to go at once. For gaming, this means textures, level geometry, character models and more. The more RAM you have, the less your phone has to load from flash memory and the more intensive the graphics can be. Since a mobile device's graphics processing unit shares the same RAM pool as the rest of your phone, the more RAM you have, the better. Refresh Rate While high refresh rates are a fairly new concept in the world of mobile gaming, they have been a staple of PC gaming for quite a while. Refresh rates refer to the number of times a display redraws itself in a second. Most smartphones in the market have a 60Hz refresh rate, but now you can get phones that offer high refresh rates of 90 and 120Hz. Higher refresh rates translate to smoother gameplay, a vital component when playing fast-paced action games such as racing or shooting games.